okay, my Balatoners. Um, so for those of you that, that have classes that really like to take the Balatone to a little bit more of a dancier edge, um, there is what, what I call center moves or what we call center moves, um, which is just kind of a, a, a Balatone where we just take it a little bit more off of the book from, from the usual uh, center floor work that we do. Um, just to kind of give them a little bit more something to, to chew on. For those of you who that, that have students that are uh, more like akin to liking the dancier stuff. So this one, um, I, I love this one, but it takes a certain specific breakdown. So we're going to be learning basically Tome Pas de Bure, which in ballet is like the beginning of every, that's your Tome Pas de Bure. It's the preparation for every big jump, turn, sometimes lifts, huge stuff. It's basically your power getter. Um, so the way that we break down in Balatone is we start off with just a simple grapevine because that's nice and common and we, we all know a grapevine. So one, two, three, four, that's basically your grapevine or karaoke. So what you want to do with this one is just start them off on the music going one, two, three, four, land it in a big bend and then beat together into first, so heels. So one, two, three, four, big bend, and it doesn't matter which way you cross technically. Technically, you should be crossing back first, but if they cross front, nobody's getting hurt, it's totally fine. Then what I do is I escalate it. After doing it, one, two, three, four, bend, and close. What I'll do from there is I'll add on the very first step goes deep, two, three, four, land deep. So you've got to take off and a landing now. Take off and then the landing. This is still on the eight count. Then from there, all those in-between ones, we just take it onto a releve. So we go take off, lift, heels off the floor, and then land it. So we've got a take off, two, three, four, and land it, okay? That's your phrase. And at that point, you can say, hey, we're not doing a karaoke anymore. Now we're doing tome pas de bourree. You can throw that French terminology at them and make them feel impressed that they just actually did it. Then to finish the phrase, what I do is I'll go add in the arms, two, three, four, land it, and then I'll do a nice little trace the clock, just give them a moment of just being in one place. Just go around, back to the, from the way that you just came, around, two, three, and then close heels. Either way is totally fine. And then from here you do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you can also speed it up too. So looking at it with the arms that I usually do, looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Pick up the flowers, pick up the flowers, take it around and six and seven and eight, okay? Nice little easy way to kind of trick them into doing something that they didn't know that they could do. Something with French terminology. It's a really great way to get them hooked, especially those dancer types. Get them moving a little bit. It's a nice little edge. All right, see you later.